Hello, welcome to Romero Threads where it's all about embroidery. In our last episode, kind of went over the infant station, okay, where we did, uh, where we worked on bibs. And you've seen me work on this bigger one for jacket backs and polo shirts. And today I want to go ahead and show you our other station that we have. So in today's video, we are going to start preparations for the back to school year. As of right now, we have two accounts ready to go for the upcoming school year. So school actually already started in a lot of places this spring, but we are making preparations for the upcoming. So we're looking at August timeframe. Okay, so I wanna take this time today and kind of show you our game plan, how we go about setting up the youth size polo shirts. So I've showed you the previous workstation that I work with the infant station okay but now once we get into the youth size and the older kid size now we graduate from this size here okay now we move on to the next big size and this one here is perfect if that's your specialty then this is definitely the hoop station to go with and of course it does fit the 5.5 on this station okay the 5.5 the one that pretty much everybody has all right it fits here on this station but me personally these rounded ones okay these rounded one works the same like the 5.5 but as you'll see in a bit they kind of fit a little bit better and a little bit tighter with the smaller shirts especially polo shirts so let's go ahead and let's make a quick design I want to show you how we go about setting up these shirts so I have my embroidery placement ruler now this is the junior size okay so this will give you kind of a reference point of your correct location for your left chest embroidery okay so I'll start with this size it's a small okay now if we use the bigger hooping station uh, we it might be a little tight. That's why this medium here perfect perfect fit as you will see in a bit Also after a while, let's say after I would say after you do 24 polo shirts you can probably start Eyeballing where your left chest center point is at Okay, but if you want to make sure all your central points are Are all consistent same place you can use this very handy handy all right very handy to use okay it has all the different sizes so the quality of this shirt feels very nice okay it's breathable it's a little stretchy it has a little stretch to it okay so this is the gildan performance so i'm going to use our performance cutaway I get my backing from all stitch and this hoop is actually a six inch this is for an eight inch so this is for the this one works with the 5.5 but since this hoop is a little smaller I just cut two inches there okay just with the rotary all right so let's go ahead let's hoop up our shirt So once again, you could see that this line is parallel to your collar, the button part. Okay, once you see that that's good to go. All right, now when I push down, this center point is very close to my center point here and here. Okay, and once you're good to go, snap, okay. and bam, ready to go. All right, so let's see. See if you can see this. This is my center point here. All right. So this is going to be a very simple design. This is the initials of my daughter. Today I am running sample shirts just because I am trying to I am trying to find the perfect polo shirt. As of right now, this one's good to go. I like it. I like this gilding one. But of course, there's always other polo shirts, and I'm all about testing out different polo shirts. Okay, so I got the color pink that'll go with this blue shirt. It will definitely stand out. So let's go ahead. All 
All right, so the stitching is completed. That was all done in one stitch. No cuts. So let's go ahead, let's take it off the machine. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so we are off the machine. Let's get a good view. Look at that. Let me try to zoom in. Let's zoom in. All right, look at that. AAR. All right, so you could, when you're doing uh, polo shirt, polo shirt logos, okay, this is kind of like the size you want to go with. This is a two inch. This is the type of size you want to go when you're dealing with uh, school clothes, back to school clothes specifically. Okay, so let's take it off the hoop right here. So to me, this is the perfect size, two inches for a logo, especially for a children logo. Okay, that's ample room for school names. So our shirt came out perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at that. Clean, clean, clean. These monograms are from Designs by Juju. Okay, she has excellent, excellent monograms, which I am definitely going to use. Okay, because this design is pretty much flawless. This design is very very nice i know it might look nice on the camera but here in person as i'm looking at it okay not just because it's my daughter's initials all right but the quality quality of the stitching of the design and it's all done in one stitch all right so i'm definitely going to post these type of stuff on my etsy okay because you cannot go wrong with polo shirt and this monogram perfectly designed. Okay, so once again, today I was working with the medium station, okay, specifically for the youth. I had the circular one specifically for the smaller shirts, okay. The 5.5 works, but this one here, it works even better, even for these smaller ones. I have an extra small. So I have two schools. Okay, that are requesting a high number of mount, especially of the extra small. So a size like this, the circular one, perfect for this type of project. So like always, make sure you subscribe, leave all your questions down below, and I will see you on the next episode. All right, peace out.